Hi, I'm Ezra Furman, and these are the Harpoons. acoustic guitar then it's like you and it's like everything that you do and like you can change the rhythm you can do whatever you want uh, and the music is like pure you but you know a band that's like its own thing and like you know it's more glorious kind of when Ezra went electric with this band there was a there was a big outcry in the folk community they they called him a traitor you know going against his roots which was just him and an acoustic guitar but um I really think the band brings a lot of depth to uh, to a sound. You know, it's going places it's never been before. It's a beautiful thing. It's high paced. It's, it's as Ezra puts on his you know, on his poster, it's high voltage rock and roll music. But I mean, he's still rolling rolling with the acoustic guitar that you know, rock feeling. First heard Ezra in Chicago, and I was blown away. It's awesome. Ezra has an edge. He's like so unique, and he just feeds off the harpoons. And when they're all together, now I'm just trying to hide awesome my love away discreet <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Chicago and I like it. It's my hometown and I feel loyal to it. It's like a place where I really I live there and dwell there. I think people want me to go on tour. I think that people that have heard uh, music of mine they really enjoy coming to shows of mine and I think uh, the band will get really tight and you know Things will start getting really awesome, and uh, you know, we'll have glorious shows, and we'll make glorious music all over the country. His stage banter is really unmatched by anyone I know. The audience's attention the whole time, like during his songs and even in between songs, when he's like making jokes and stuff, and it's just everyone loves it. And I was like singing his songs in my head for like the rest of the night after that, and. Uh, in our dorm, it's like a constant concert. He's always playing in his room or in the common room. It's music that's about uh, experience and, you know, looking for people. It's about folks, you know? That's folk means people. You know, everything they did in their day and, like, the cigarette they had and, uh, you know, the, the gum they're chewing or, you know, the, the, the cut they got on their face from shaving. It's all like having a conversation with this music and lyrics and, uh, you know, creating a moment that's not just about musicians, but it's about the audience and the musicians together. The thing about Ezra on stage is it's pretty much exactly like Ezra not on stage. He just, like, treats the audience like we're one collective person that he's having a conversation with. And, uh, that works well. Ezra speaks for the working man or the college student, or, you know, the 16-year-old girl who's on the street, pregnant and trying to make ends meet for her unborn child. It speaks, you know, it speaks to everyone, no matter who you are. You know, I'm a writer, so whatever is the best medium for what I want to write, I'm going to do. Maybe I'll write some plays if that's necessary. If it's any means necessary, basically. Um, yes, I am the one who's been gotta get it out somehow. It, Songs are useful shot, often for that. I, I just want to make good, glorious music that really engages with people. I just want to be a sheep.